The Belgar Wall of Death is a lovely demonstration where a battery-powered car goes round in horizontal circles inside a vertical bell jar. Let's take a closer look at what's happening. How is the car defying gravity to keep going round? Well, let's see how we set it up. To successfully go round in the circle, the car must have a minimum speed, so I must push it in the direction it's trying to go to give it that minimum speed. I can then move the bell jar to the vertical position. The force that makes the car go round in the circle is the normal contact force from the glass bell jar acting towards the centre of the horizontal circle. But to understand why the car doesn't slide down, we'll need to draw a force diagram. First of all, let's draw the normal contact force acting towards the centre of the circle. There must be the weight force acting down, which leaves the question of what force is acting up to stop the car sliding down the side, and that must be friction. Now, you wouldn't think that there would be enough friction between the very smooth glass and the car's wheels to stop it sliding down the side. But this is where the minimum speed comes in. The centripetal force required towards the centre of the circle depends on the speed that the car is going round the circle. In fact, there's an equation for it, which is the centripetal force required equals the mass times the speed squared divided by the radius of the circle. This means that if the speed of the car is bigger, which means v is bigger on this side of the equation, then the force required will be bigger. And since it's the normal contact force that's providing this centripetal force, the normal contact force on the car will get bigger. But as the normal contact force gets bigger, the friction will also get bigger. You can experience this if you push down on something and then try and slide it along. It's much harder because when you're pushing down on it, you're increasing the amount of friction. So provided the car is going fast enough, the friction will be large enough to balance the weight and the car will be able to go round in a horizontal circle. In a real wall of death, the stunt riders build up their speed on a piece of track which is not vertical but banked much closer to being horizontal and when they've got up to the minimum speed then they move on to the much steeper section or close to vertical section of track. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my video about the Belgar wall of death.